This is Money Track, a new show about you and your money. It's possible to start with very, very small amounts. And really, on the monthly adjustable, you can get as low as a payment of 933 a month. You could afford double the house. Each week, Money Track shows you the best ways to make, spend, invest, and manage your money. This is Money Track. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the premiere edition of Money Track. I'm Pam Kruger. And I'm Jack Gallagher, and we're really glad to have you along for the ride because every week we're going to help you get all your personal finances on track. See, that's the tie in with the name of the show, Money Track. Ha, on track. I oh, get it. <laughs> all right, whether it's investing in your house or for your retirement, you know, the choices seem to be getting more complicated every day and it's intimidating. Well, we're going to cut through the Wall Street jargon and we're going to show you what works, what doesn't work, and how a little education goes a long way. And if we ever do use jargon, some sort of financial lingo, well, we're going to make sure you know exactly what we're talking about because, frankly, that's the kind of people we are. We're here to help. All of us, the whole crew, even Pam's dog. Did I tell you she's a Labradoodle? I think you mentioned that. Yeah, well, she's just here to help, but we have a lot to do, so let's get going. All right, the focus of today's show is getting comfortable with the basics of investing. It can be very important because understanding those first steps is very empowering. Absolutely. Now, what if we told you that we know a former school teacher who turned her teacher's salary into a million bucks over the course of her career? It's true, and our own Rigo Chacon is going to show you exactly how she did it. Yes, stand tall, stand proudly, Mr. and Mrs. Blanton. Your picture is in Fortune magazine. That was back in 1991 when people at the magazine decided that your smart financial planning was noteworthy. $400,000 in a portfolio that started with a small inheritance and a teacher's salary. And how much are you worth now? What have you done since? We were surprised at her financial strategy. All the way up until 2000, our investments were probably growth investments for the most part. So she's very conscious of where the portfolio is all the time, maybe overconscious to some extent, but that's okay. After all, it's her money. Mrs. Blanton is a self-taught investor. Due to disability, her husband Gerald has not received income for decades, but he too stays informed. The computer age has made Marion Blanton an even wiser investor. To this very day, I'm happy for a spreadsheet and a calculator because numbers are not my thing. Oh, yes, they are. And she watches those numbers very closely, always looking for the next opportunity and always minding the store. Of course, I'm not insisting that we make this investment this minute, but I do want you to take a look at it. Um, I've done some, some research on it. She wouldn't have the, the assets she had today if she didn't mind her store well. So how did you do it, Mrs. Blanton? How did you manage your finances to create a $1.3 million portfolio on a teacher's salary? It's possible to start with very, very small amounts, so long as those are not part of what you think you need to live on. And you have to invest in things that have a good track record. So she's a delight to have as a client. In good times and bad times. The bad times are few. But there was that Microsoft episode. We had some Microsoft and didn't sell it out when it was higher and she never let me forget it. Shortly after the Microsoft debacle, uh, Mr. Smith and I had a series of conferences. It sometimes get, gets me right there. But all is forgiven now. In fact, Mrs. Blanton is very happy with Michael Smith's performance and the two have become close friends. He describes her as forever young, a woman who still weighs what she weighed in high school. In fact, at 80 years of age, Mrs. Blanton still swims regularly in the neighborhood pool. Not on camera, however, she says that lack of modesty belongs to younger women. But swimming does require self-confidence at her age, the same self-confidence that she takes into her financial planning. So Mrs. Blanton, might we see you again in Fortune magazine? Well, call them up, <laughs> I'm, I'm available. I'll call them, Mrs. Blanton. It'll be my pleasure. For Money Track, this is Rigo Chacon.